Less than two days ago, Ryan Trahan launched his Sour Candy, but I believe he's misleading his audience about what's really going on here. Let's see what he said. Hey guys, yeah, so this is me launching my new candy brand, Joyride. Isn't that a fun name? My face is on it. We're starting off with four flavors, strawberry, blue raspberry, pink lemonade, and green apple. So I visited the website joyridesweets.com. First off, some poor web developer messed up the logo up here. All they needed to do was change position relative to position absolute, and it gets rid of that white bar which was showing up. We can see that they're advertising the products or flavors of sour candy. There are quotes on the page which seem to be from the perspective of Ryan. And at the very bottom, we can see an Instagram feed to the company's Instagram. I had a look at the Instagram and clicking on the post, I saw some interesting comments. What about all the other candy you sold? Is that all gone now? I'm so confused. This account was wiped clean. I mean, I'm all for these, but where's everything else? And this kind of confused me. Didn't Ryan say he was starting this company? And other people seem confused too. So I went on the Wayback Machine. Take a good look at how the Joyride website looks right now. This is how it looked only a week ago. Completely different. Now, if you do this yourself, you'll have a little trouble because an animation script isn't running. I had to go and manually make everything on the page show up. We can already see that they're advertising different products. Here's their best sellers section, the listing a variety of products at, you know, around $3 per bag. $3 per bag, lots of different shaped gummies, some licorice, gum, everything's at around $3 per bag, and some lollipops which do go up to $5 per bag. Next here, we can see that Ryan's product is listed, which at $25 for four bags works out to over $6 per bag. I blew the photo up and we can clearly see that it says Ryan Trahan's pick over here. If we go back into the future for a moment, the design has definitely changed a bit, but the messaging is still the same. Another thing to note about Ryan Trahan's launch is he makes a big point of saying how healthy their candy is. Y'all know I love candy, but all of the top brands are packed with horrible ingredients. They taste good, but a regular blue sour strip is basically built in a science lab. Our candy can't even look like theirs because we don't use fake anything. Like anything. Our sour strips have 80% less sugar, and I think they taste even better. And we can see this reflected on the product page. Magically Mighty Macros. Showing how little sugar you'll find in each piece, I suppose. And better for you ingredients in which they claim that their ingredients are better than the average low sugar candy. And if we go back in time to about two weeks ago, to this product page for another one of their hidden products, and we scroll down, look what we see, magically mighty macros, showing different information. These ones are zero sugar instead of four grams. And better for you ingredients, showing the ingredients for various different products. But these sections and this messaging are the same as on Ryan Trahan's product. If we scroll down a little more, they're advertising that their candy is available or will soon be available at Walmart. I later found out it was available at Target for the past eight months. So these guys obviously have been selling candy for a while now and their messaging hasn't changed with Ryan Trahan's product, so how does he even fit into it? Well, the Reddit sleuths were tracking it down. Just as I was, this Reddit user was immediately skeptical and did some digging. They found an Amazon page for the Joyride brand. We can see that it has the same branding, it's selling many of the same products that we saw on the website. And it's still up. You can buy all of these in America. Now, if you go to the posts tab on this Amazon page, you see that the page is actually called Project 7. And using this information, the Reddit poster was able to track down the company's head, a guy called Tyler Merrick. 
So the company was initially called Project 7, and there's more information about his initial vision which isn't relevant here. What is relevant is that on his LinkedIn page, we can see the logo, it's definitely the right guy. The first post is Ryan Trahan. Excited to share this next chapter at Joyride, introducing Ryan Trahan as our new partner and chief creative officer. To kick things off right, we created Joyride Sour Strips Candy with him, available initially only on our site. And this is really the crux of the matter. In his video, Ryan implied that he had started the company. What's actually happened though is he's been hired by an existing company. I don't know what the problem would have been with just launching his product as, you know, a sub-product of theirs. There was no reason to wipe their Instagram or completely change up their website. There's no reason why they couldn't have just made this special page on their website a landing page. They didn't have to replace the entire website. And I don't know how they thought it would work either. I mean, their Facebook is still completely full of posts. You can Google for Joyride Suites and you're gonna find so much information that there's really no point trying to pretend that they're a new company. Hey guys, yeah, so this is me launching my new candy brand. Joyride. This is just disappointing from Ryan Trahan, and obviously people in his community have seen this and they know what's going on. I guess we'll just have to see how it plays out in the coming days and weeks. I'll be back with an update if anything crazy happens.